AMD Ryzen 7000X 3D processors get a huge price cut. Palette launches their 3.5 slot Tech GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super Game Rug Edition. XFX has teased their swappable fans for Radeon RX 7000 GPUs. And lastly, AMD explains why Ryzen 9000 with 8 cores doesn't require higher TDP but lower. Alright, so firstly, we have some deals here. And firstly, we get to see the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D 16 core processor here coming at a 30% a whopping 30% off in the price list here. We can see 491, previously 699. If you look closely, the Ryzen 9 7950 non-X3D is similar in terms of pricing. So you can get the Ryzen 9 7950X3D with the price of the non-X3D processor. So that's quite a decent deal here. And not just decent, 30% off is huge. Also, we have the 7800X3D coming at 339, 24% off here. So 449 to 339 that's a pretty good deal 339 is looking steel here for this product here if you want to buy this of course link in the description the amazon affiliate link remember it doesn't cost you anything and helps out the channel so yeah you can check it out and next up we have something interesting palette has brought their omni black which is the game rock edition gpu and this is the first time they're launching this this generation of gpu here and as you can see this is the omni black rtx 4070 ti super looks pretty decent with a diamond accent obviously we already know no, 3000 series had the same edition, the Omni Black Game Rock edition, so that's pretty neat. And yeah, in their official website, you can also get this particular GPU, the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super Game Rock Omni Black. Only this particular GPU is here, which is the 4070 Ti Super. This is the first they're bringing in the Game Rock Omni Black. So yeah, maybe we'll be seeing the 4080 or 4080 Ti or even 4090. And yeah, this GPU is actually gorgeous. Like as you can see, the, the black it looks like obsidian, similar to that, and the backplate looks even better better you can clearly tell they don't really have any flashy name or anything going on here and you know the back plate is pretty decent with the cutout here obviously for a better airflow and yeah it, it looks clean so hopefully we'll be waiting to see whether they bring in the 4080 or 4090 series for this particular gpu and next time another gpu news for xfx they have brought in the interesting looking gpu here which doesn't really tell which series of gpu we're talking about here but one thing for sure it's pretty much clear they're hinting something which is the swappable fan of the GPU that that is quite interesting I think I think they have done this before for the RX 570 long time ago which was again from XFX but yeah this time around they're going for a similar kind of approach where, where you can swap the fans which I don't really understand what is the point of swapping maybe you can change the aesthetics in this picture we can see the red accent maybe you can change that because I believe that is not RGB or maybe could be RGB who knows but yeah they have done this before with the RX 570 and they're now they're bringing this back again with the 7000 series of amd's gpus so yeah xfx only makes rx 7000 series gpus or exclusively amd gpus so yeah this is kind of makes sense why this is going to be an amd gpu and clearly they're bringing in back the same swappable design cards where you can swap the fans which is kind of a, a good feature i don't know like it's a quality of life feature you can change it if you want to so yeah quite interesting they've gone in that approach and lastly we have something interesting amd ryzen 9000 series has already been launched and quite interesting enough Ryzen 9000 series has lesser TDP than previous gen which is of course the 7000 series so yeah why is that basically they explained it but first let's look into the specs here so as you can see the Ryzen 5 9600X or the 90, Ryzen 7 9700X they require lesser TDP but why is that because look into it right here a Ryzen 7 9700X requires only 65 watts previously if you look closely the Ryzen 7 7700 x requires 105 watts so obviously it requires lesser tdp same goes for the ryzen 5 9600x requiring only 65 watts previously if you look into the 7600x it's 105 again so this time around it requires lesser tdp not only that if you look closely 9950x requiring 170 watts and the ryzen 9 7950x also requiring 170 watts so in that case it didn't really change clearly but for the eight cores and the six core variant it does require less the tdp of course so why is that so according to overclock3d.net they have this answer coming from david mcafee amd's corporate vp and general manager of the client channel business and he quotes i think the other thing that we'll get into the into this the frequency residency in spite of the fact that fmax hasn't really changed which is of course the maximum frequency as far as what's on the box the frequency residency the efficiency of the lid and the thermal design in the 9000 generation gives your 
efficient frequency a lift over the prior generation so you actually do not see a net overall positive there with just the processor running faster with a zen 5 architecture versus zen 4 at the end of the day we give you more performance without increasing power and at the end of the day we give you more performance without increasing the heat at the end of the day we bought a non x3d chip very close to an x3d chip when it comes to gaming which is actually true there are 9000 series non x3d processor are faster or close to faster or on par with the previous gen x3d processors so that is quite impressive while requiring lesser tdp so that is impressive so the one benefit of amd's improved gen 5 design is that they will have an effective frequency lift as frequency residency has improved amd's new ryzen 9000 series cpus will be able to maintain their boost clock speeds lo for longer this is due to amd's improved power and thermal characteristics with ryzen 9000 so that is a true definition why architectural differences can make a huge deal even for the tdp because of just a simple architectural change or not really simple of course it's complex design but still just an architectural change can give you so much where it is giving you x3d level of performance as a non x3d processor but requiring lesser tdp so the thermal management is solid here we'll see what happens when the ryzen 9000 actually hits the shelf and of course how it will react to games and other applications we'll see about that but overall the thermal side looking pretty good so that is it for today hopefully you enjoyed and yeah subscribe for more information